to make a live stream like chill cow we're going to need to install a couple of plugins for obs studio the first one is vlc media player this one will allow us to play a playlist of songs on our stream and by a playlist i mean a list of songs inside a folder the other plugin is tuna we will be using tuna to get information about the current song that's playing on our stream like the title of the song the artist of the song the time and such things before we start installing stuff i just want to show you my folder real quick right here is my folder i named it songs and inside that folder i have four songs that's good enough for me to demonstrate for this video but you probably want way more songs than just four songs that way your listeners won't get bored listening to the same four songs over and over again. You don't necessarily need to have this folder ready at this point, but you will need it eventually when you start setting up your stream. You can get your songs from anywhere you want, but let me just show you real quick where I got mine. I'm using YouTube Audio Library to get my songs. You can search for any songs you want and you can apply some filters so you can search for the songs easily but for our stream we want to make a chill stream so we probably want chill hip hop rap beats and we want to calm so we're going to add another filter we're going to change the mood to calm apply and you can look through all of these songs there are lots of songs here and download as many you want okay now let's go ahead and start installing the plugins that we need to install the first one is vlc media player i'll have the link in the description of this video but you can also just open a web browser and search for vlc media player click here and then we're going to click on the drop down menu download the 64 windows bit or 64 bit it's going to take a second to download, you just got to wait for it. Once it has finished downloading, we're going to open it up and go through the installation process. Next. 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 It will take about 20-30 seconds to finish installing. You just got to be patient and wait for it to finish installing. Once it has finished installing, just click on finish. And then we'll just close this. Next, we need to install Tuna. Again, you can search for this. But I also have the link in the description of this video, Tuna OBS. Just make sure when you're searching it, be sure to add OBS to it. Because if you don't, you're probably just going to see pictures of Tuna instead of Tuna the plugin that we need so once we are here we're just going to click on download I'm going to download the installer this is one of the things that gave me trouble is trying to install a 7z file so this is like this is a zip file so we will need to download a 7z zip file extractor so to do that we're going to search for 7zip installer 7 7zip.org and then from here I'm going to I'm going to download the 64 bit once it is downloaded and we're going to open it and install it install and it's done installing we can just close it that means we can then go to here and right click on tuna and you can go down here hover over 7zip and on the right side it should show up you can extract it anywhere you want, but I'm just going to extract it here. And this should pop up. Once this pops up, we're going to open it and install it. This is Tuna, by the way, that we're installing right now. Yes. Next. Install. Finish. And we have installed Tuna. Now we can close this window. Now that we have installed all the plugins we need to install for OBS, we can go ahead and open OBS Studio. I have this scene right here, it's just, it just has the default name, 
it's scene. I'm just gonna rename it real quick. I'm gonna name it chill stream. Now on the right side on the sources, we're gonna add a new source and add a VLC video source. And then I'm gonna name this songs. We're gonna we're gonna add our songs, our playlist on this source right here. We're gonna press on add here. If you wanna add files, if you wanna add them one by one, or if you just wanna add one single song, you can go click on add files, or you can add the whole folder by clicking on add directory. And then I'm gonna go to desktop. This is my folder, I'm gonna select that folder. And then here you got a couple of options. You can loop the playlist and also shuffle the playlist. I like to check both because once all the songs are played through, I want it to loop again and keep playing again and again. And also, I want them to play in random order, so I'm going to check the shuffle playlist too. I would suggest that you check the loop playlist. That way, once all the songs have played through, they will play again, again, and again. And now we're going to press OK. And as you can see, our songs are imported and it is playing very loudly. We're, going to, we're just going to turn it down a little bit so it's not so loud. Now we're going to go up here to Tools. We're going to click on Tuna Settings. This is where we're going to get the information about the name, about the song, about the current song that's playing on our stream. So you're going to go to VLC and then you're going to select the source. Mine is on Chill Stream, or actually the scene. The scene is Chill Stream. And then the source is Song. And then I'm going to click on Add. And then it should pop up right here. Once you have done that, we're going to click on Apply. And we're done on this part. We're going to go back to the basic part. As you can see, I've already made some things here, but I'm going to remove them. That way I can show you how to do this stuff. Here on, on Song Source, you want to select VLC. Originally, I think it's set to Spotify, so you'll need to change it to VLC. Now up here, we're going to add a new song information output. Alright, so here down here, we can type in what kind of information we want to display on the stream. So if you wanted to display the title, you'll type in percentage T. And then if you also want to display uh, the length of the song along with this, you could do like dash uh, L. Or if you wanted to do the artist name, that uh, you could do percentage M. And then up here, we're going to click on these three dots. Uh, and then so we're going to create a text file. We're going to name it. I'm just going to name it title. Save. So that means it's going to take the title of the song and the artist of the song and put them in that text file. And then we will be grabbing that text file later and that add it at a text source. So right now we're, we're going to press OK. And then we're going to press Apply. Okay, now let's create a new text source. Text, we're gonna name it a uh, title and artist, maybe. Okay, read from file, we're gonna browse and select that text file we created earlier. Open, okay. Silent Observer Sarah the Instrumentalist and um, Alright, so it looks like we don't want it to display like that. It looks it looks like something's wrong. And I think I know what it is. So we're just gonna go up here tools, tuna settings, and we're gonna edit selected. I'm just gonna remove the artist. And the reason for that is we're we're gonna do apply, okay. Alright, it looks like it's working now. And the reason I think what happened is, let me just show you real quick. You might uh, find this helpful later when you set up your stream. So I think what's going on is when you download songs like from the internet and stuff, it sometimes puts the artist name 
both the artist name and the title and the title section. It combines them together. So if you did if you just did person T, which is the art, the title of the song, it will display both the title and the artist. Yep. So that's how we want it and it's working. So if I go ahead and switch the song, go to the next song. As you can see, it updates to the next song to so it's displaying the current song that's playing, which is uh Calamity, I think. I don't know which is the title on the which is the author, but let's see. Next. Pop pop young logo. I think the the first one is the title and the second one is the artist. And this is exactly how we want it to display, so we're just gonna leave it like that. You can put this anywhere you want, by the way. You can put it at the top of the screen, you can put it at the left, you can even put it at the center. But one thing I would say I would warn you on is if you put it like on the corner like this, if the name of the song or the artist name is long, it will overflow. So like this. Yeah, like this one is a long name, so it'll overflow. So to prevent that, I think you can just put it in the center like that. I mean, at least that's the way that I know how to do how to fix that problem is put it more in the center than the corner. Now, if you wanted to display some other information about the current song, like a, if you wanted to display the information separately, you can add, you can go to tools again, tuna settings. You can just add a new song output information. Let's say I want to display the time, maybe the length of the song. We can do percentage L. And then we're gonna have to create a new text file because we we want this to we want this to display separately. We're just gonna name it time. Save. Press OK. Apply. OK. So now we're gonna create a new text file. Tech. I mean, uh, text source. We can name it. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm gonna name it time because it makes sense. Then we're going to do read from file. We're going to browse. I think I saved it. Oh, there it is. Time. Open. Okay. So I can display this separately, separately like that. This is the length of the song. So if I wanted to do the length of the song and how much time there's left, I could go back to tools, to now settings. I'm going to edit this. Edit selected. So we're going to do time left, so it's percent O dash, uh, actually let's see if I can do uh, like, like that. Yeah, so I'm doing 45 seconds out of the 157 uh, minute left. I'm actually going to go ahead and just delete the time. I don't necessarily want it. I just wanted to show you that it's something that you can do. One other thing that I want to show you is the progress bar. Tuna progress bar. So I'm just going to add. You can change the color to anything you want. You, I'm going to have it as red and C. So that creates a progress bar. It's basically like a time. But this time a progress bar. So it shows how much of the song I have played. So if I go like here, as you can see, it matches uh, how much of the song I have played. So if I go to the next song, it starts over, as you can see. About making the animation happen, there are different ways you can do it. The one way is go in the description of the Chill Cow live stream. There's a link there of the person that made the animation for them. So you can click on that link and maybe ask that person to make you an animation like Chill Cow. The other way is go on Fiverr and find somebody that will make you a GIF animation or like a short video. This will also cost you some money, somewhere between 50, uh, 100, 200. You could probably get one for $10. It will probably depend on how detailed you want the video and how long you want it and all those different factors so 
The other way is if you are into drawing, like if you know how to draw and stuff on the computer, you can probably watch some tutorials on how to make a GIF animation. The other way, or the way that I did it, is I recorded a short video of myself doing something and looped that video. So I'm actually going to go ahead and import it to OBS. We're going to do VLC video source, I mean media source, add, we're going to add a single file. I think I saved it in videos. There it is. We're going to open it. We want it to loop. That's important. That way it keeps playing over and over again. And then we're going to fill up the whole screen. And make sure it's under the text stuff. So we're going to put it at the bottom. That way we can see the text. And there it is. So what I did then was once I made the video is I imported it into a video editor i used final cut pro to edit the video i added like a cartoonish look uh i think the filter was called comics look and i added that filter and played with it a little bit to get this look now this looks more realistic than animated i could have done a better job but since it's just for a demonstration video i didn't really want want to spend a lot of time on it but you can take your time and make it look good and be creative with it too right here what i'm doing in the video is so i started by here let me replay let me replay the video so as you can see i started by touching the paper so i have to end by touching the paper and the pencil so in the exact position that i started that way it looks like one straight video it just looks it just loops and loops again and again that way and also that way it doesn't look like it's a cut because if it cuts every time, if it if it looks like it cuts to a new video, that's not going to look smooth. And now it's going to start over again. Let's see if it looks the same. Yeah, you can see my hand was a little off. My head was a little off, a little off too. So it's not as good, but you can take your time, you know, make it look good, make it look uh, animated and everything. A little tip I have is try to make it simple. It doesn't necessarily matter how long the video loop is. Mine is, uh, let's see, I think mine is, mine is one minute. Mine is a one minute video. But you can make yours as long as you want. It doesn't necessarily matter. It's just the way you start and the way you end. They have to be the same exact position. 